Hi, okay, so next problem is value. Okay, so they say that the time weighted return is zero and the dollar weighted return is y. So if it, it seems like they have the time weighted return figured out. So let's solve, use this information to form a time weighted equation. So we know that the value is 10. So there's no deposits or withdrawals being made. And then prior to the deposit is 12. Then there's a deposit of x that's being made. So 12 plus x over here. Then the value at the end is x, x. So we could solve, we could combine these to make a ratio. So 12 over 10 times x over 12 plus x. equals one plus i, but the time rate of is zero. So this whole thing is just gonna equal one. Now we're just gonna solve this whole thing to find x, right? So I'm gonna do 12 divided by 10, which is 1.2, then one divided by 1.2, which is 0.8333. Now, once I do that, I could just do a 0.8, three, three, three times uh, 12 plus X, right? So times 12, which is 10 in this scenario, and then plus 0.8333 X. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna set it equal to X again um, for, so like 8.38. Yeah, we're gonna set this equal to x. And then now we're gonna do one minus 0.8333 to find that 0.1667x, okay? Then we're gonna do 10 divided by 1.667, um, seven is uh, one minus, which is 0.1667. And divided by point one, which is uh, x equals fifty nine point ninety. So x equals sixty, right? So now let's put this in the whole spiel of uh, the dollar weighted return. So we can use the dollar weighted return formula. So, but first we have to find interest, right? So the value at the beginning is ten plus a deposit of x being made plus interest that we need to find out equals ending of x, right? So let's combine these together. So we subtract x together. Then we find out the interest is negative ten. So negative ten is going to go on top. Now we're going to put the initial value of 10 and then plus uh, the deposit of x times uh, the amount of uh, months that have not elapsed yet. So since there is a deposit on July 1st, then there are six months left in the year. And then... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then they're saying that the dollar weighted return is y. We said that we found that x equals 60. So we're going to plug in 60 over here. So 60 times 6 is, and then divide by 12, 30 plus 10, which is 40. So what is negative 10 divided by 40? negative 0.25, so that is why uh, A is the final answer.